Hello, I thought I'd get into this. It's been a long time since I talked to any uh, uh, separationists, uh, separatists, of, rather, of any sort. But I thought I would uh, talk a little bit now. I also want to give a tip of the hat to Kiros One, who mentioned ev uh, intelligence uh, in this context, which helped me click with a few things. That's what we want to do online, right? That's why we're here. I get this idea from Kiros. I don't know why I didn't know about his videos. I thought he was a commenter or whatever. I was watching his videos. And I think he's also here. You know, you watch something there, like midwives to your ideas, and you go click, and you go, oh, yeah, that's what I've been trying. So that's what's been on the tip of my tongue. You say it, maybe the other person goes, oh, click, I have one too, click, 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 a couple of days like that's worth a year of waiting, really. Um, you know, if it's a really big group, it'll sound like sizzle when it's clicking, Sizz, popcorn and being sizzled in pan. And if it's uh, the whole society, I imagine, I think it sounds something like, oh, so yeah, that's what we're going for. Two issues. All right, one, the point is intelligence. This is the Kiros thing, that they're always bringing up intelligence, intelligence, intelligence. So let's talk a little intelligence. And grouping by intelligence, we should group by intelligence. Right. And then their other issue is uh, what I'm calling ethnic Zionism or ethnic nationalism. And the idea that every ethnicity should get their own country. So, you know, like the Jews got theirs, so hey. Well, if it's about intelligence, then let's just assume we want to group by intelligence. Well, there's lots of correlates to intelligent, to intelligence, you know. I mean, uh, neighborhoods are correlated to intelligence. Wealth is correlated to intelligence. If intelligence what is what is important, why use a correlate at all? Why not just use intelligence? We got IQ tests. They're using that for their scientific arguments. I think IQ tests are pretty bullshit, but they like them. So why not just group by IQ? Why not just group by IQ? You know, scan the kids for their IQ at 3 and 5 and 7 and move them into the group they're supposed to be in. Right? IQ is the important thing. Why would we base ourselves... Uh, any decision at all on some indirect correlate to what we really want when we have a direct one. Have you thought, have any of these separatists thought that since wealth is associated with intelligence, it could go the other way? Being wealthy causes intelligence? Especially, yeah, no. Okay. On the other hand, if it's about ethnic Zionism, you know, about I want a country for my own. Maybe the IQ is just an excuse to, to talk about I want to be with my own kind and I mean people that are in groups that don't have a... Well, anyway, I'll get into that. Okay, the issue here, first of all, the category problem. Not the old category error of, oh, I got it in the wrong category, but just the rule of entry. How do you decide who enters? Right, what percentage of purity is good enough? You're not going to get 100. And even in a pure group, you have this genetic variation that does all kinds of havoc on getting classical, necessary, and sufficient conditions defined so you can have a proper category because it's all fuzzy because of the statistics and the millions of elements involved. And this is the natural variation. So what percentage of purity is good enough? And this is a serious question. Except for I'm not making this a reply, so it's just an open thing, you know. What percentage would be good enough? Obviously, the, the, you know, the whole, that very question contradicts their, their premise, you know, because it's like they don't want to have to ask that question. Like, well, just, if we can tell you're right. If, or maybe not, but that's the sense I get. Now, what if you like another race better than your own? Can you go to that country? Like, so, I am white, I have no way do I want to go to the white culture country. I want to go to the black culture country and get some blues clubs out of it, or I want to go to Thailand culture and eat good food. I mean, I have to make this decision. Can you do that? You know, if you're self-selected into, I like this culture better, can you adopt? Now, at the boundary, boundary of your selection, always, there's uncertainty. And this is the point, what Fringe Elements admitted to skeptical heretic, to the skeptical heretic, which is 
there is no scientific definition. If you were going to form one of these countries, you would have no way to define scientifically who is in and out. That's a problem. At least if you're going to try to use scientific arguments for why you should have a chance to do it. You know, because there you acknowledge the validity of a scientific argument, and there is no scientific definition that you could use, right? There's no measurements you could take. It would just have to be what we know when we see it. It's who we feel comfortable with. It's all about us feeling comfortable, after all. The mixing would actually continue forever. Right, let's say you had a 51% uh, purity rate, really liberal. Um, it's the same with any small rate. Uh, you would get people of that rate until such a time as, you know, and assuming, and if nobody left, eventually outside would, nobody would satisfy your requirements and you'd sort of have the separateness kick in. Right, but assuming people could leave, and assuming that animals can naturally, that can mix, do, which nature chose, and given that a person could change their mind, and also that it's possible to dislike your own people, right, and pretty much all separatists admit that, I mean the virulent, violent ones go so far as to have race traitor concepts, they know it's possible, and the more mild ones, the voluntary, you know, or voluntarists or whatever, the, either they're still even more inclined to realize, well, yeah, somebody could dislike their own race. So that, plus the fact that someone could change their mind, means that somebody that thought they wanted to be in there could change their mind, want to go somewhere else, and the races will go out and just keep coming back in at whatever that percentage is. And there'll still be mixture. And because of evolution, the mixture won't be even. Because if you have a 20% uh, of your genes are doing the variation thing, you're going to pick up the survival genes, right? So even with 20%, if you have a survival gene that's over some gene you've got, it's, it's, it wins. It's the one that survives, right? So what you've done is you've slowed down evolution. You haven't stopped it. You haven't achieved what you wanted. Now, the voluntary ethnic Zionism is an interesting point, if you really point out that it's voluntary, because first of all, you can already voluntarily associate and aggregate, so that means what they're talking about is kicking someone out of some area, like, we are going to give this area to white people, whatever that is exactly, you know, and we're going to have to kick somebody out, or we're going to have to prohibit somebody else that wanted to use that area. Right, there's there's an inherent injection involved. So the whole voluntary thing to soften up the message is paper thin. It's just at the surface. Now ethnic nationalism is a goal meant to affect evolution. We're pretty clear about that. It would increase apparent specialization, right? Because you would seem to have a group that was staying unique, right? Instead of having, you know, people go to some in-between skin color and some mixed gene thing, it, it would stay the same. That would make it look like it was staying specialized. But you're really just doing it by retarding evolution. Because if you take a group of so-called whites somewhere, and go and protect the group form a nation where they you protect yourself as a group you're protecting the inferior and superiority both this goes back to the page where we're talking about if you want to have an IQ based grouping that you can do then just test people and do that you don't like that idea because you know that would be a hell of a mix that would be the most multicultural group we ever invented right so and, and if you really don't think it would be then you should just advocate testing by that and then you'll go look we're in the smart group and we're all white ha huh? we were right yeah good luck with that okay so you want to retard evolution by protecting your group inferior and superior both right to increase apparent specialization but that's not real specialization real specialization is a group evolving forward not retarding evolution but full speed ahead evolution 
And that's when they naturally split up. And if they can still interbreed and have overlapping territories, then they will still interbreed and have overlapping territories. You know, and when something happens or they finally evolve to the point where they're exploiting those territories in different ways and they lose the ability to interrate, that's all natural. That none, none of that is from retarding evolution, it's from going full speed ahead with evolution. So only race mixing can ensure natural selection for humans because it's the only thing in a modern society where humans are protected from the environment. The only thing that can ensure natural selection is if the individual is treated like an individual. And mixing is allowed and is, is not a big deal because if you don't mix them, then you're going to be checking a group of superiors and inferiors both, right? This should be an effective argument for those that believe in the inferior uh, superior dichotomy. Okay. I also want to point out that animal kinds in nature don't tend to form communities that span the whole of their species. No animal has ever done that. Human beings are the closest of any animal to having done that, and we're still at war with ourselves. Right. And what they do is they tend to individuate either as, as, as individuals, literal individuals, um, if they're a loner type species, or on small groups. For most mammals, small groups. You know, the only exceptions to this are you know insects and certain things, or things that might seem like exceptions, and maybe they could be discussed like animals that have. Um, mating practices that bring a lot of them together um, and interact in groups. Uh, but generally, you have a small group. With humans, you'll have a small group. So in this nationalist white nation, you're going to have these groups of, you know, if the idea is to break it back down into this natural affinity group, which I don't think would happen, but then you would have groups uh, in this white nation of 150 or so, and they would be battling the other groups for resources, especially if you're an anarchist with this idea. That's the natural thing, is that they're just going to be having petty battles for thousands of years, potentially, however long you make them do it, however long you keep them distracted from the heavens and more productive intellectual pursuits. They'll be battling each other. You know, and this is related to the fact that no species refuses to interbreed. That is not natural. That is not how specialization occurs. It does not occur because you become a bigot. It occurs because you physically become separated, usually is like a main cause. Or possibly, maybe more generally, a mixture of a physical separation with a sort of a focus on a particular skill that the animal has while it's cousin is focusing on a different skill, they eventually become so, you know, accented that they're different animals, maybe they can't even interbreed. But it's definitely nothing like, I will decide that, you know, you know, the, 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 the red feathered finch and the blue feathered finch are not having sex because they're not nearby each other. If they are, they, they probably are. And if they aren't anymore, there's some environmental pressure, but it's not bigotry. It's not like, to have evolutionary specialization, you have to grow a brain and decide who you hate ahead of time. It doesn't work like that. All right, cheers. Bye.